Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about posterior vitreous detachments, PVD. If you want to learn more about this very common eye condition, then please keep watching. I will first begin by explaining what a posterior vitreous detachment is. If you look at this picture on screen now, you will see that the majority of the volume of our eyes is occupied by what is known as the vitreous. The vitreous is firmly attached to the back of the eye, which is called the retina. As we age and the vitreous undergoes changes, in most patients, this jelly will detach from the back of the eye and this is what's known as a posterior vitreous detachment. The condition is painless and what patients typically notice is floaters that appear in their visual field or in their field of vision. These floaters can also be associated with flashing lights which can be concerning because flashing lights and floaters can also be presented features of a retinal detachment. As explained earlier, the vitreous coming off the back of the eye is called a posterior vitreous detachment. If the retina comes off the back of the eye, then this is called a retinal detachment. Therefore, if you are experiencing fresh symptoms of flashing lights and or floaters or curtains, shadows or veils in front of your eye or eyes, then you need to get this checked straight away. The reason to get this collection of symptoms checked straight away is because a small proportion of patients that have a posterior vitreous detachment will also develop a retinal tear in the process of the jelly coming off the back of the eye and this can predispose one to developing a full-on retinal detachment. In the majority of patients, a posterior vitreous detachment is simply caused due to the process of aging. What tends to happen is the vitreous, which is jelly-like in the early aspects of one's life, becomes more and more liquefied and starts to shrink. And as it does so, it can pull away from the back of the eye. In some patients, um, they can undergo a traumatic PVD, which as the name suggests, is associated with some form of trauma. In addition to flashing lights and floaters being noted by the patient, patients may also notice blurred vision. Blurred vision can occur not least because of the fact that when the jelly detaches from the back of the eye, it may inadvertently nick one of the blood vessels in the back of the eye and cause a small bleed. And depending on where this bleed is, it can obscure one's vision and therefore cause blurriness of vision. When you present to your eye care professional with these collection of symptoms, your eye care professional, after taking a history from yourself, will perform a detailed examination. This will involve dilating eye drops in order to afford one the best view of the back of your eye. Bear in mind that as usual, you won't be able to drive under the influence of these particular drops because your vision will become blurry. This detailed examination will encompass looking at the back of your eye in great detail with varying different bits of equipment. So what are floaters? Remember at the beginning of the video when I mentioned that we have a big blob of jelly in the back of our eye, which is called the vitreous. Well, if bits of that vitreous detach from the main body on the vitreous, they can then start floating around inside the eye. And this is what we perceive as floaters when they cast a shadow in our vision. Um, they can look anywhere ranging from little black flies to spider webs. Also, floaters tend to be more noticeable at certain times compared to others. For example, on a bright sunny day, when one looks at a lightly colored background, then it's usually more noticeable. 
floaters tend to become less of a problem over time in so much that we learn to basically ignore their presence. The reason one may experience the perception of flashing lights when a posterior vitreous detachment has taken place is because the vitreous is essentially pulling and tugging on the retina. As it does this, it causes that part of the retina to send signals to the back of your eye, which one perceives as flashing lights. In the UK, at least, we do not actively treat a posterior vitreous detachment. What we do do is warn patients about the symptoms to look out for that could potentially indicate to them that a problem with the retina has developed, such as a change in the floaters that may be size, color, number or shape that also may include any spiders or shadows or veil type images being perceived in front of the eye. In addition to this, if there's a change in the flashing lights, then these warning shots should be taken very seriously and urgent professional attention should be sought in order to carry out a thorough examination. As I mentioned earlier, the main complication of a posterior vitreous detachment is the risk of developing a retinal tear or a retinal break, which can then go on to develop into a retinal detachment. Most patients who have been diagnosed with a posterior vitreous detachment will carry on with their normal day-to-day -day lives without any adverse effect. So in summary then, a posterior vitreous detachment is part of a normal age-related process whereby the jelly inside the back of one's eye detaches from the retina. The risk of this is that the jelly can cause a break in the retina which predisposes one to a full-on retinal detachment, which is potentially sight-threatening. Your eye care professional should be sought for their expertise when one is experiencing symptoms of flashing lights and or floaters, and after they have performed a detailed examination, they can inform you as to their findings and how best to proceed in terms of a plan. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it has been informative. If you have any suggestions on future content or any questions that you feel I would potentially be in a position to address for you, then please do comment in the box below. As ever, please do kindly subscribe to my channel because it will help my platform to grow. Don't forget to click the like button also and click the notifications box also. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.